Hello, I wanted to do something a bit different today instead of a tapping video and you might find in me uh, <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to carry on because the whole point of this video I have to laugh at myself is to share with you how we shouldn't take ourselves so seriously and how we do get caught up in um, everything needing to be perfect that's videos, thumbnails for my videos, have I said the right thing, have I got my message across, am I speaking clearly um, and sometimes we don't because we are human and this is the human experience. It's um, up and down, it's full of what we call mistakes, it's sometimes looking really shabby in the morning. <laughs> It's sometimes having a really good sleep and feeling fantastic. It's sometimes having a really shit sleep and feeling terrible. Um, but there's something else I wanted to share with you today, which was I was in the kitchen. I was having a little break after uploading my dates for my new EFT level one and two workshops next year. And um, I was getting a bit tight and stiff and actually bonnie my dog don't know where she's gone but she just gave me a real reminder to move my body so I got up and I went into the kitchen and I found this little beauty that my lovely husband bought me a couple of years ago and this kettle was actually very shabby sitting on the cooker top really dirty and I kept looking at it nearly every day thinking that's grime that I won't be able to get off easily and actually I don't have enough time so um, I'm actually going to leave a video up here for you to click on if you want to about tapping away your belief you haven't got enough time so common so this was a metaphor for me for believing I don't have enough time to take care of myself and to take care of this beautiful kettle which is now all shiny and pretty so it took me literally five minutes to get some baking soda and just to gently clean it and it was actually much easier than I thought. And again there's another na analogy of it can be much easier than we believe and think taking care of ourselves. And sometimes it's literally just stopping and breathing consciously. Like now, let's just stop hand on your heart, hand on your belly and just breathe with me and let it all go and it may just be that second, that five seconds of consciously stopping, closing the eyes and letting everything go that brings you back into alignment and that moment of knowing that you are perfect with your imperfections. You are perfect even if you wake up and you look in the mirror and you think, oh, I look so tired today. Or for me, sometimes I look in the mirror and I think, I'm getting old, my neck's getting a bit scraggy, um, you know, I'm getting flabby arms. It's still perfect even though it's imperfect because this body of mine has been on the planet for 53 years and I just turn my thoughts around more frequently than ever before and I just think how harmful that is to keep chipping away at myself saying you don't look good, you're not sounding good, you're not articulate enough, your words aren't right, your thumbnail's not good, uh, what's, is anybody going to like this video? Um, if I say this to a certain friend, you know, is it going to come across right? All the times we stop ourselves from being free to be ourselves, all the times we don't stop and go, I deserve actually to have a five minute nana nap or power nap. If you're like me and you're spending more time online like I am with clients, but I am also thankfully able to have my clients here in this beautiful workspace. I'll tell you about what happens on the bed in a minute. Um, you know, th th that's just all so important to be able to recognise that it's normal actually, for one, to um, kind of 
doubt ourselves but it's so unhelpful when it's the the main mantra or the main self-talk I'm not enough I don't look good am I doing this right um, can I really be a success whatever success means to me success is just feeling fulfilled and happy feeling like you're of service in some way for some people it's an absolute 100% if not more success to just be kind and generous in the world to be the best mum they could be or friend or daughter so just wanted a little share I think I might do a few more of these just little chats with you um, please do like subscribe share and also don't forget to click the link about tapping away your belief you haven't got enough time but let me tell you about what happens on the bed. So over here, let me see if I can move my screen. I've got my chairs where I'm thankfully seeing more clients back again in here because restrictions have eased with COVID here in New South Wales. And um, so what happens over here is, on the, what happens on the bed is after a session of releasing using the tool of tapping and I did a video yesterday about it's just a tool it's not magic it's just a tool to relieve anxiety and stress so that you can heal yourself but these wonderful tuning forks are amazing so the C and the G together when we tap them I'm just going to give them a little tap now and hopefully you can hear and we have them either side of the ear you see what happened to me then it's just an instant balancer the C and the G together create a perfect fifth that's what they call it the perfect fifth which is a harmonizing and grounding and healing sound so I do this with my clients and then we swap over and we do the other side Hopefully you can hear that. And then one more time, so I do it three times. Interesting to know if you can hear this. Let me know if you can hear this. I think the microphone's up at the top. So I can often start a session with grounding with the tuning forks and sometimes what happens is people just instantly start to feel emotion rising and then being released. And it's also literally to help you become in tune with what is, so that you can become in tune with what you want to let go of with me. So I often end a session also with the tuning forks to ground, to come back to that moment after release of being yourself. Um, this is the other one, which is the OM. And we tap this one, this is really lovely to place on the heart space, to breathe. It's like you can feel your heart opening up like a flower. So just receiving love, all the chakras opening, trillions of your cells receiving that frequency and that vibration. And it's so simple. So we can do this on any place in our body, really. We can place it on the palms of our hands to feel like we're receiving. The first time I experienced actually the tuning forks was at the end of an Akuna massage and it was incredible because she just tapped it and placed it on my third eye and I just completely let go. I was crying and sobbing, it was all about grief and from that moment on I thought I really would like to experience the tuning forks more and I did a workshop about 18 months ago, maybe two years ago in the Blue Mountains. Uh, which really enlightened me to the tuning forks and the power of them. And finally, just like to share with you, behind you can see I've got aromatherapy in bottles. They're just lovely essences that sometimes I use at the end of a matrix reimprinting or EFT session to just really be with all the senses as we really connect to our true self. So we're shedding. We are shedding when we're working together. My my room is a shed um, and it's no coincidence that it is a shed because it's to come and shed your emotions and then you can see next to that I've, I think I'm quite clever doing that don't you I, 
I you can see my oops there you go um, the bush flower essences which I love to use to supplement and contribute or complement is the word I want the release bush flower essences are just so beautiful and gentle but quite powerful in their frequency and then finally I've got some uh, bottles there of doTERRA um, aromatherapy which we can just put on the wrists or the back of the neck and the eyes again just to support the release of what uh, has been imprinted on you and what experiences you've had that are stopping you from being you happy being you more outspoken more joyful more pain-free and more aligned to truth of yourself and the world and your beliefs so i hope you've enjoyed that little chat today please do let me know if you uh, enjoy my uh, little impromptu chats i'd quite like to do a few more of them from now on mixed up with the tapping i'll always do so don't forget to check out the uh, not enough time video subscribe like and see you next time bye for now